How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. I've got my Mareep in the party now, who I named Loopy. Honestly, I don't even remember that. I don't remember that happening. I also gave Geodude the Hard Stone. I don't remember where I got that either. Apparently, it's been a while. Uh, I guess it was from the guy who was only there on certain days. But yeah, I gave him the Hard Stone. Didn't do any training for Loopy because I didn't think about it. I'll do it later. I could switch train him, but that'll just waste time in the video. I'll just do it off screen later on. Because I do want to train him up because I think he's cool. But we'll do that later. As long as Audacity continues to hold, I'm going to be saying that for a long time. Ever since it messed up on Ghost Trick, it was then good. It was good for the Zonkyo no Terra videos on my other channel. Let's hope it continues to be good. I'm always going to be paranoid that it's going to mess up like it did before. But now i got a Miracle Seed. That's cool for uh, Bellsprout, who I put in the PC to make room for Loopy. Uh, I considered bringing Zubat into the party just in case I want to use him later because to get a Crobat you need high friendship. So I figured I'd bring him with me to build up his friendship just a little bit by at least being with me. But I decided not to because, I don't know, I got Pidgey with me and he's fine, so yeah. So let's just keep using the main three guys for now. I'll train up Loopy a bit later. I don't know, I guess it kind of fits. When I think of an Ampharos, the name Loopy seems fine. I just didn't remember naming him that. But yeah. You know, I was thinking about it after I fought Faulkner. Like how at the beginning of the game, when they were mentioning cities like Ecrotique and Goldenrod and stuff, I thought, oh, if you were playing this game for the first time, Gold and Silver, when they first came out, that'd be kind of cool. You'd be like, ooh, what are those? I can't wait to go there. But in the same kind of way, I feel like it would be disappointing fighting Faulkner if you're playing this game when they first came out. Because this is the first new gen. There was Gen 1, and now we got new Pokemon, a new region for the first time. And I feel like it would be disappointing to fight the first gym leader and for him to just have a Pidgey and a Pidgeotto instead of any new Johto Pokemon. Not only that, but he cheated, and his Pidgeotto was illegal. So Faulkner, what the hell. Really, when I think about it, I feel like a lot of the gym leaders in this game have Gen 1 Pokemon. Bugsy's main thing is a Scyther, right? Does he even have a Heracross, which he should? I don't know. Oh my god! Hopip, that's kind of cool. I already got my Mareep, though. I'm just gonna get out of here. In fact, I'm just gonna spray a Repel. You've got Whitney, she's got her Miltank, so there's that. Chuck, I think, only has Gen 1 Pokemon. I'm sure some of the other ones have a lot of Gen 2. But yeah. I was just thinking about that. Faulkner, you're, uh, you're not the best. Hey! Beautiful. I used one and I immediately got it restored to me. Is there anything that I missed over here? No? Okay. What are you looking at, exactly? Right. Pardon? Pokemon battle? I'm on the phone. Oh, alright. I'll accept your challenge. As you should. Yeah. So. I don't know. I said so with no nowhere to actually take that sentence. To talk about some random stuff. Which I like about this LP compared to a lot of the other ones that I've done. All the other games have been story and text-heavy games where I've had to focus on the game the whole time and talk about the game. So it's nice to be playing this, which is very different. There have been some times in those other games where I do talk about whatever and I end up missing text. Just because I like to talk about random stuff. Because this LP, I don't have to pay all that much attention because it's not a big deal. Even though it's a Nuzlocke and I should, I don't pay much attention, and I just can just kind of ramble about anything. That's why I wanted to start this alongside Ghost Trick, because I've done enough of those LPs in a row where I have to be focusing on the game at all times, that I wanted a little bit of a break in an LP where I can just kind of vlog, sort of. I was thinking about bringing back the weekly vlog soon to my other channel, but, I mean, I can just vlog in these videos. I probably still will, though. Hell, it might actually, I might have already done one by the time you see this video, I don't know. What the hell's down here? I'm gonna go that way first. Oh no! Oh, really? They hadn't introduced that yet in this game? Where you could just immediately respare the repel? I can't believe it took them that long to introduce that feature where it's not even in this game yet. Anyway, this is all the same route, right? The same route as I got the Mareep? Probably. Good for you, man. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna make sure. What the hell route is this? I'm just gonna Bulbapedia Violet- See, look, I fucking search random shit on Bulbapedia while I play 
all the time because I don't need to pay that much attention. This is Route 32. Okay, yeah, this whole thing is Route 32, so just Marie. I figured, and I'm fine with that. I was just checking to make sure. Never know if it might be sectioned off. Whoa, nice! Oh, good. I was gonna say, don't even drag this out after that critical hit. Made me happy, and it didn't. Hypnosis should miss 100% of the time. Nice. Bite? Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll take that for sure. Get rid of, uh, that thing. You'll evolve fairly soonish, which is neat. I looked it up, and Bugsy's Scyther is level 17, so I want to try and stay below that, or stay, you know, lined up with it. Okay, well, we can send him Pidgey now. He's level 12. I could try out my Mareep. I don't know if it has any electric moves, though. And this is his last Pokemon. We'll see. Maybe I'll switch it in for the next guy. Oh boy! Yeah, because I was just going to use so many fire moves on you. Look at Poliwag's eyes. He looks... It's probably because of the spiral going on with his body. He's getting confused and he has a headache. He's like, hello. But yeah, um, what an amazing move. I was going to use so many fire moves with my Pidgey on a water type. It just makes a lot of sense. I'm glad... I'm, I understand why you would want to protect against fire. Oh, wait! Makes more sense than Geodude having Mud Sport, but still doesn't make a lot of sense. Everybody's the same level. It really makes me happy. The main three, anyway. Everybody who currently matters. Don't take that to heart, Loopy. You matter, just not as much yet. Do you have, like, Thundershock? Oh my god. Did you hear that? <laughs> no, you don't. Thundershock! <laughs> I apparently need a drink of water. Um, yeah, well, you know. I'm not gonna put you in yet. I'll train you off-screen later. If he has, like, a magic harp, you can take it out, but it's just a bit of a waste of time anyway. Whoa, really? Oh, God. <laughs> well, at least we're getting this out of the way early. There's always one. There's always one jackass who has 76 magic harp. At least it's only four. In some games, they'll have six. So, here we go. I mean, and you know what? I was gonna say I might as well send in Loopy, because he can just... It's free experience. But Magikarps barely give any experience, which is just the ugh, the worst part of it all. They're easy, but they give you nothing. It's not even worth it, so it would just take extra time for nothing. I'd rather one AK home with Bite and get done with this, and then push this guy in the lake and watch him drown. Jesus. And then what the hell is that? Level 15? This one can no tackle. It probably doesn't, because dumb, but my god. Just why? Oh, really? I have to waste time on a magic harp. Fantastic. One more. Please just be level 5, the last one. It actually new tackle. And then he just brings out a Gyarados. Nope. Just let it be quick. Thank you. Why did you save the... The last level 5 one for last. <sighs> Goodbye. Thank you. I want that item over there. Don't have any Magikarp, please. Can I just circle around here where I'm at? I'm looking at Bulbapedia again. Yeah, it's just a big circle, so I can go get that. Cool. Dean. Another thing that I can talk about. Often, people have recommended fan-made Pokemon games like, uh... God damn it. What was it? Uranium? Or whatever? The one that was recent? I'm not even gonna deal with that bullshit. I'm not even gonna play your stupid game and deal with confusion. I refuse. But yeah. People have recommended a lot of those. I don't really plan to ever play any of those. I've just never wanted to. I've never had the desire to play fan-made Pokemon game. I don't like using emulators, first of all. I'll use them sometimes, like I've talked before about playing Fire Red and Leaf Green a bunch of times. But I don't generally like using them, and especially not recording them. 
I just, I've never had a desire to play a fan-made game of any kind, fan-made Pokemon game. There's just too many games that I want to LP, just a list of ones that I want to be able to cross off that if I take the time to do unofficial fan-made games on top of those, it's just... Uh, well, fucking... I was gonna just get out of this patch of grass and spray another repel, but the two steps left, I had to run into one. But yeah, you know, I just want to do real games. And I don't want to say it like that, because, like, if somebody's able to make one of those games, I'm sure it's an incredible amount of work, and I don't want to... You know... I don't want to... I, can, I don't want to make it sound like I don't respect the amount of work that goes into it. I'm just saying I don't. I've never had a desire to play one of them. I'd rather just stick to the official ones. Because I got a lot of games I want to do already, and uh, yeah, you get it. You understand. You know, I've never. I, I haven't played Super Mario Maker because I'd rather just stick to the to the regular ones. Because there's enough games out there for that I want to play as it is. I don't want to get stuck with endless Mario Maker levels. Not only that, you know, I, I like it when games... Moving on to Mario Maker. I like it when games have a conclusion. Like something I'm just working towards rather than just being able to be played forever. Which a lot of people would love. They just love games you can play forever like Minecraft or something. I'm not into that at all, honestly. I just... I don't like that. That's why I barely, I don't play multiplayer on any game ever. I just like to play the story mode, and then that's that's done until I play it again later. And also with Mario Maker, I just don't generally like 2D Mario in the first place. So, yeah. A lot of reasons I didn't get Mario Maker. A lot of old Nintendo games, 2D, 2D ones and old 8-bit ones, like the old Marios, old Zeldas, old Metroids, old whatever. I just don't like those. And it's entirely because I'm not good at them. But, uh, yeah, I just, I can't get into them. I've tried, and it's just like, eh, whatever. I'll just stick to the 3D ones because I'm a dumb noob or whatever. I can't help it. I didn't play them as a kid. I don't have time to get good at them now. I barely play video games in the first place, so I'm not going to waste time playing ones that I have to spend a lot of time getting good at. It's why I can't get into Dark Souls. I liked what I played of Bloodborne, and I played a little bit of Dark Souls 3. Didn't like it as much. But uh, I just don't have the time or desire, since I barely play video games anymore, to spend that much time on a game that where I'm not really making any progress because I keep dying, you know? They're cool. And I, like I said, I really liked what I did play of Bloodborne, it's just I'm never going to finish it. So I sold those games, because I'm just never going to finish them. You know, I don't play, like, fighting games or something like that that don't have ends. They just kind of, well, they a lot of the time do have story modes, but it's, it's usually just about multiplayer fighting. You just kind of can do it forever. I don't play those, not to mention I don't really like them anyway. No? Okay. I mean, I can go on a lot about the games I don't like, because it's it's most just because I... Is there nothing back here? Because I just don't play many games. I've never been able to get too much into first-person shooters. Some here and there, but barely. Never... I barely play RPGs. Pokemon's one of the few RPG series I can get into. I've never really been into, like, strategy or tactical RPGs at all. Um, uh, you know, like RTS stuff. Most games. I like a good platformer. Pretty much guaranteed that I can have fun with one of those a lot of the time. That's like the one the genre that I'm most confident in enjoying. I'm super excited for ukulele. That's cool. That looks cool. I want to. I'm hoping The Last Guardian will be good because I like Shadow of the Colossus. I. uh... I haven't played Eco, but I'm looking forward to Last Guardian. Those are like the only two games coming out that I know of that I'm looking forward to. The new God of War, whenever that comes out. Breath of the Wild, of course. Sun and Moon, because those still haven't come out at the time I'm playing this. 
I can't think of anything else that I know is coming out sometime soonish that I'm excited for. I'm also not, like, looking at all my games and seeing what there is and what series are... I mean, just series that I like, that I would like to get new games soon, yes, but ones that I know are coming out. You know, like, I... When the Switch comes out, I can't wait for new games on there. Like, a new Mario Kart, new Marios, new Metroid, hopefully, new whatever, Donkey Kong and Kirby. Although I'm not really into regular Kirby games either, but I like some of them, the ones that are not regular, like Epic Yarn and stuff like that. Actually, I can tell the story. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. I love just being able to talk about random shit. We're talking about, th this episode is about how I don't like video games. Which I'm sure is re so relatable to everybody watching a gaming channel. Right? No? Great. How to lose the audience in ten minutes or less. Anyway. Um... I thought I liked Kirby, but then I played it. <laughs> um, with Kirby, I played the very first Kirby game, Kirby's Adventure or whatever. I played Nightmare in Dreamland, which was a Game Boy Advance game. That was the first Kirby game I played a long time ago. Those were the only ones that I beat. I had played a little bit of one on the, the DS or 3DS. I think it was the 3DS. It was called Triple Deluxe. Just a little bit. I liked what I played of it, but I didn't play very much. And then the new one for 3DS came out, Planet Robobot, and I got that too. And it was fun, but there just wasn't really much to it, because Kirby is very simple. It's not meant to really be deep or challenging. It's meant to just be quick little lighthearted fun where you're not really going to die. You're just going to kind of go right as fast as you can and just be cute little Kirby. Kirby himself is awesome. Kirby is the ultimate badass. Destroyer of worlds. But, yeah, there just wasn't enough to keep me invested. Just like, I'm going right, and I'm just kind of floating over stuff, and I'm just Kirby. There wasn't really enough... I don't want to say to think about, like, I need my mind to be highly stimulated in video games, but I think you can kind of understand what I mean. Wasn't there a tree at one point on this route that I looked at and I thought that I wanted to... that I needed to cut down, and I don't think I... I did? I think I just went past that, probably because I was talking about something. I'm gonna go back and check. Okay, I'm coming back. I don't have cut. That's what the issue is. It's not that I didn't cut down the tree. I didn't, but that's because I can't. It's not cut that I got, it was rock smash, so... Cannot cut that tree, can break this rock. I was thinking of the first gen where you get cut first. But yeah. Rock Smash. We're all good now. I ran into an Ekans. First time I've run into one of those. A Shell Bell? Is that the thing that raises friendship? Or is that the thing that restores your health? What is that? Why did I go to Pokemon? But yeah, with the Kirby games, there just wasn't really enough to it to make me care. Okay, that's the one that restores HP a little. Yeah, might as well give that to somebody. I mean, I guess you can have it. Why not? Um, and I realized that the other Kirby games that I had played had been like that, too. And I, I had the Kirby, like, 20th anniversary collection, or whatever anniversary it was for the Wii. And so I tried playing uh, Crystal Shards, Kirby 64. And it was the same thing. So I was like, alright, I don't really like regular Kirby, so I sold those. But then I played a bit of uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn, and I thought it was really fun. I haven't played, like, uh, Rainbow Curse or anything like that that's a little bit different, but I want to try it. I do own it. So, Kirby that's different than regular Kirby, like Epic Yarn and stuff like that, I, uh, I've, ha I've had fun with. It's just regular old 2D side scrolly Kirby is not really enough to keep me interested. I'm trying to get an encounter in here that's not a Rattata. I also have Zubat and Geodude, so I don't know what the hell else there could be in here, if there's anything at all that I don't already have. But uh, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for listening to me talk about how I don't like video games. I'll see you guys later.